Cypress, a next-gen test runner that lets you write code to automate an actual user interacting with your system. It features some great tools like an in-browser test status menu and time travel debugging, making it a great tool for your NX toolset. At its core, automated testing is a button we can press to give us a red or green light to tell us our code is good to go before we merge it or deploy it to production. The four categories of testing are static tests like linting and type checking, unit tests to test single units of code, integration tests to test combinations of units, and end-to-end -end tests to test the entire system. When these powers combine, the result is confidence that our code is good to go. Cypress is already great at end-to-end -end testing and introduces some new features in version 10 for unit and integration testing as well, but we'll focus on end-to-end -end for now. To get started with NX with Cypress, let's start with an NX workspace with a React front-end and an Express API, like this one. We'll start with Cypress version 9, but don't worry, we'll demonstrate how NX can automatically migrate Cypress to version 10 later. Since we're using NX, a Cypress project has already been generated for us alongside our front-end application in a directory called clap counter E2E. We'll write our first test in the source slash integration slash app.spec.ts file, which will assert that at the start of our test, our app shows that no one's clapped yet, then it will clap, and then it will show that one person has clapped. Now we'll start Cypress up with nx e2e clap counter e2e dash dash watch. This command serves our front end application and then starts Cypress in watch mode once our web server has started. We'll want to start up our backend server as well. For now, we'll just serve that in a separate terminal. Before we run our first test, I'm also going to add a six second delay to our server code to demonstrate an important point about Cypress tests. Now, when we run our Cypress test, we'll see that the first two steps pass and we're on to the third step, which is saying that our app should reflect a clap count of one. But since I added in that delay, it doesn't see it yet. Notice though that our test is not immediately failing even though we can't find the text we're expecting. Instead, there's a timer at the bottom of our test to show us that Cypress is waiting around for that string to appear before the test fails. This is a great feature as it lets us write very simple tests, but I'm highlighting it as you'll probably need to shift your brain a bit to how you usually work with timing when working with Cypress tests. I'll go ahead and remove that delay now, and we can try again by clicking refresh in the Cypress test runner. But we'll find here that because our counter is stored on our server, we're now actually failing our first check of our test. It's very important that our test stays self-contained. So since our server is stateful, we'll need to add a step in our before each to restart the server. Remember, we're in Cypress version 9, so to do this, we'll add a reset server task to our plugins slash index.ts file. In Cypress, tasks are a way of executing code in a node runtime which is what we want to use to reset our server in between each test. Notice I'm using the kill port npm package. We'll use it inside our task to try and kill the port we know our server would be running on. Next, we'll use node's exec function to run our serve command with nx, and we'll wait for it to print the line listening on port 3333 before resolving our return promise and signaling to Cypress that the task of resetting the server has completed. Now we'll add this to our before each hook in our spec file, and we have a passing self-contained test. Now that we've demonstrated the usefulness of Cypress, let's upgrade our NX workspace to use Cypress 10. Luckily for us, the recently released NX version 14.5 includes an opt-in generator script to do just this. To run it, we'll run npx nx migrate 14.5 which will update our dependencies in our package.json file. We'll then run yarn or npm install to update our node modules to those new dependencies and effectively install nx 14.5. Let's drop a quick git commit here for good measure. Now we can run the command npx nx generate at narwhal slash cypress colon migrate to cypress 10, which follows the expected syntax for running a generator via the nx CLI. If you prefer to use a GUI tool for your NX scripts, you can also find this generator in NX console, our VS Code extension. After running it, we can see that this migration changed our cypress.json file to a cypress.config.ts file, adjusted the name of our app spec file to app.sci, 
made some other minor adjustments to our restart server task and the way it's added to our new cypress.config.ts file. Our plugins in this example are working just fine, but depending on the nature of any custom plugins you had been using prior to Cypress 10, you may need to make some manual changes here. Now let's run our command to run Cypress again, and we'll see the slick new UI and see that our test continues to work as expected. Now that we have Cypress 10 installed, we can try out the new Cypress beta for component tests. As a quick note, Cypress support for this is not yet included for Angular, but you can check out our NX Angular Storybook Cypress integration for some similar functionality in the meantime. To set this up for React, I'll use NX Console to run the generator Cypress component configuration for my React app, which will add the required Cypress config. Now, since I want to use Cypress to test the clap counter component, I'll run the generator component test and pass it the path to my clap counter component to create a clap counters.sci.tsx alongside our component code. Next, we'll add some unit tests for our component, like verifying the text it displays and using cypress.spy to assert the event handler we pass in is firing as intended. Note the mount function here from the cypress slash react package as well. We'll write another test case that creates a fixture component to demonstrate how we can use Cypress for integration tests as well. This shows how our clap counter component could be used in some other use case than our original app. In this test, a clap doesn't make a round trip to a server and each click is worth 10 claps. Now we can run the command nx component test clap counter dash dash watch to open Cypress up for our new tests and enjoy the developer experience. We hope you enjoyed this video and we're excited to support Cypress's new tools in our NX 14.5 release. Remember, when it comes to confidence, with Cypress and NX on your side, the power is yours.